is the dance too. Yeah, great. Very good. Okay. Who taught you dancing? Huh? Okay, teacher. Did your teacher teach you how to dance? Yes. Yeah, great. Okay. And who is better in dancing? You or your friend? My friend. Yeah, your friend is better? I think so. Oh, but I think you are a really good dancer. Okay, tell me what else? What did you do? Today, I learned math. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, was it difficult? It's easy because I learned math in Vietnamese. Oh, very good. So it's easy. And tell me, what is your favorite subject school? It's art and science. Oh, art, of course, because you can draw and that's really good. Okay, very good. Well, first of all, we, we are going to talk about something, but I'm going to ask you a few questions. Are you ready to play a game? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, very good. So, I read a text. Okay, oh, thank you, my flag. Okay, I read a text for you and you need to guess. Okay, who is it or who is this animal, this thing, this object, maybe this person. Okay, so who am I? This is the name of our game. Who am I? Okay, listen carefully. I work in the library. I help people pick out books and put books away. Who am I? I work in the library. I help people pick out books and put books away. Who am I? Teacher in a library. Yeah, librarian. 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 Let me show you. Let me write here. Okay, so wait a minute to share my screen. Okay. Well, what color? Oh, library. Oh, you could write. Excellent. Okay, very good. I just guess. I just yeah, guess. I didn't, you just you just guess. Yes. Okay, very good. Now tell me, are you ready for the next one? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, very good. Now, the next one, the next question. Who am I? I explore outer space in a space shuttle. Who am I? I go to the galaxy, go to the space. Spaceship. No, this is a person. Okay, so. Ah, great, astronaut, excellent, very good. Okay, perfect. Okay, third, who am I? I grow food like potatoes and corn. I take care of animals. Who am I? Mm -hmm. Can you read it again? Of course, I grow food like potatoes and corn. I take care of animals. Who am I? <coughs> Farmer. Yeah, wow, you could answer. <coughs> Excellent, great job. Okay, and the next one. I work in the zoo and take care of the animals. Who am I? Zookeeper. Oh, great, very good. So I need to 
let me let me sh let me okay do something because you deserved wow great you deserved excellence great job okay so let me write some words on the board who what were when why do you know these words i know i know okay very good and tell me how can we use who with a person very good and what uh, what is that okay what to ask about things or object things okay and were were to um, ask about something that happened already okay no this is about place were place when time and why reason now let me show you something else okay wait 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 you can wait me of course okay let me show you well now you can see okay who can you okay i'm waiting for you Okay, I'm back. Okay, very good. Welcome back. Okay, the first one, who? Who is used to ask about people, person? Who are you? Who is your teacher? Who is your best friend? So, to ask about people, person. Number two, what? Is used to ask about things or in action. For example, what is this? What color is your black? Or for example, what is this animal? So what is used to ask about things or objects, maybe actions. For example, what are you doing? I'm playing, I'm talking, what are you doing? And when is used to ask about time. For example, when do you go to school? I go to school every morning, so when for time? Where? Where do you live? I live in Vietnam, so it's used to ask about what places? Yes. Excellent, great, and how? Yeah, we have another one. This one is a little different from the others because we have WH, but here only H, but it's okay. How? How is the way something is or the way something happens? For example, how old are you? How is the weather? How is the weather? It's sunny. It's rainy. How old are you? You are? I'm eight years old. Very good. How are you? You are? I'm happy. Very good, excellent. Okay, how are you? I'm great, I'm happy. And why is used to ask about reasons. Okay, why are you crying? Because I'm sad, okay? So why are you crying? Why are you happy? Because you went to school. Okay, they are WH words, get it? Okay. Well, let's do something else together. Let me... Close this one and of course open. Oh, we have a worksheet. Let's do it together. Just one moment to open my worksheet. 
Okay. Okay. Now it's your turn. Complete the questions using WH words. Number one is, where is he? Very good. <coughs> Number two. Number two is, what is that? Excellent. Number three. Three is, who is she? Number four oh. is, when is the exam? Number there? five is, what is this? Number six is, when is the party? Number seven is, who is he? Number eight is, hmm. where is Marianne? And number nine is, what is the dog? No, where is the dog? Number ten is, who is this? Very good. Excellent. Great job. You answered all of them perfectly. Okay, great. Well, let's keep going and get started on the book. Okay, so do you like birds? I don't like birds. You don't like? Okay, so do you like mammals? I like mammals. Okay, so what is your favorite mammal? Mm, maybe mm, white fox or orange fox or oh. tiger or lion. Or oh, gr wow, great. Okay, so do you like fish? <laughs> I don't like fish. You don't like, okay. Okay, what about reptiles? Do you like reptiles? And it's reptile. Like snake, snake, or for mm. example, alligator, cro crocodiles. Mm. Are you scared of reptiles? Like okay, are you scared of reptiles? Mm, yes, I'm scared. Yes, I am. Just short answer. Okay, yes, I am. Okay, what about amphibians? You like frogs. Okay, do you like them or are you scared of? I don't like them. Yeah, of course. Me too. I don't like them. Uh -uh. You know, let me tell you a secret. I'm really scared of amphibians. And, and, you know, maybe some insects. They're really scary, I think. Okay, so. We have a listening section. Okay, let's fill in the missing words. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, but before it, may I ask you to read this text, please? Okay. The children in the picture are going to act in a play. They are making signs for the animal character, character in the play. Some children are drawing mammals. A mammal is an animal that has fur and teeth. Most mammals have four legs. Some children are drawing birds. Birds are animals that have two legs, two wings, and feathers. Most birds can fly. One children is drawing a bat. Name yeah. two mammals and two birds. Do you think a bat is a mammal? Or a bird. Okay, tell me, do you think about a mammal or a bird? Mm, I think 
Maybe a bird. Uh, what is not? <laughs> it's mammal. Yeah, can you believe it? Can you believe? Of course, of course, it has wings. It can fly, but actually it's, you know, kind of mammals because it gives birth to its babies and it milked them. Do you believe it? Mm. Like a cow, like a cow, milk. Oh, it's interesting. <coughs> so, a bat is mammal. Okay, now, can you name two other birds? No other birds. Can you name? Not a bird. No a bird. Can you name another bird? You know, to name two birds, for example. Chicken. Ah, of course, the kind of. But chick. Okay, tell me, can chicken fly? No. Rooster. No. No, of course. But you know, I watched the cartoon. I remember it was an animation I watched, and the chickens could fly. But of course, not for a long. Actually, it was like jumping. They could jump, you know, and their wings know. like. Yeah, of course, they jumped. I have a chicken. Yeah? I have a chicken. Yeah, you have? Oh, what color is it? I have a hen and a rooster. Oh, very good. And tell me, do they have names? Mm. No, they don't have names because I have lots of chickens and roosters. Oh, good for you. That's great. So you have lots of chickens. Yeah, good for you, but I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. Okay. Well, it's turn to listening section. Wait one moment to play the audio. It's six. Okay. So, okay. Well, three, two, one. Let's get started. Track six. I want to be a bear. Bears are big and strong. I, I want to be a fast animal. animal. What can I be? How about a fox? How about a tiger? That's a good idea. I'll be a tiger. I think I'll be a kangaroo. Why do you want to be a kangaroo? Kangaroos can jump and kick. I'm good at jumping and kicking. Okay. Now it's your turn. Would you feel in the missing words? How about a? How about a uh, fox? Fox, excellent, very good. Okay, and the next one. Mm. Mm. I, the first one is I. Okay, I think it's better to listen again, okay? But, you know, I want to teach you something, a trick. So first of all, we have our pens or pencils to write, okay? Because we need to write something and we need to make notes, okay? So we have pen or pencil and of course a piece of paper to write down, okay? Then we can take notes. For example, Fox, I can write F. Okay, so I can remember F. Wow, I remember it was fox. And okay, how about the tiger? H, how, A, about. So are you ready to listen again? Yes, I'm ready. Very good. Track six. I want to be a bear. Bears are big and strong. I want to be a fast animal. What can I be? 
How about a fox? How about a tiger? That's a good idea. I'll be a tiger. I think I'll be a kangaroo. Why do you want to be a kangaroo? Kangaroos can jump and kick. I'm good at jumping and kicking. OK, so again, how about a... How about a fox? Well, let me change the color. OK. And the next one, Ben. How about a tiger? Very good. How about tiger? And the last one? That's a good idea. Excellent. That's a good idea. Very good. Okay, tell me. If you can be an animal, what animal would you like to be? Mm. I will be... Uh, mm. I will be... Uh, a jellyfish. Oh, <laughs> a jellyfish? That's interesting. Okay, so, but you can, uh, and I think, okay, what about rabbits? Do you like being a rabbit? I don't like to be a rabbit. I want to be an animal that's small. Oh, small. Why? Why do you like to be a jellyfish? Because it's too small? No, I don't know what I think. I want to be a small animal because when I be a small animal, I can go to something. I will go to everywhere or nobody can see me. Oh, really smart. Okay, of course, you can hide and you can go anywhere, of course, and nobody see you. Great, good answer. Okay, now let me, okay, make it a little smaller. So, I write something here and you're going to complete. I am good at, I am bad <coughs> Okay, complete my sentences. I'm good at. I'm good at what? What are you good at? Good at art. Art. Okay, and what are you bad at? I'm bad at. I'm bad at. Dancing. Dancing. Okay. So, but you're not, of course. So, when we use good at and bad at, of course, they should be followed by ing form of the verb. Okay. A drum. For example, I'm bad at drawing. Okay. Or you are or you're. What is this? Good at, for example, dancing. Okay, so I'm bad at drawing, as you can see. Okay, I have ing form of the verb. So if you want to use verb, you need to use ing after at. So I'm bad at, I'm good at. Okay, and now if but I have. Uh, <laughs> okay, so of course, but I think you are good at dancing, but I am bad at drawing. I'm really bad at drawing. I can't. I don't know why, <coughs> but I can't. Okay, so if we have the verb, I want to. So would you complete? I want to. I want to. Drawing. Okay, I want to draw. Okay, so pay attention. When we have the verb want and to, okay, the next verb should be base, not ing, 
not ed, nothing, just base. So again, I write something else. I say, I want to, again, you say. I want to sleep. Of course, I want to sleep. So that's great. I want to sleep, I want to play, but when I have bad at and good at adjective, and add, I used to, I need to use ing form of the verb, get it? Okay. Very good, so let me make it this way, okay, and well, so, okay, so we talked about animal and for example, you are going to act a role maybe in a play what animal do you want to be for example okay you said if i can be uh an animal i want to be a jellyfish now you're going to play a role in a show okay so what and you need to be an animal what animal do you want to play the role of what animal do you want to be hmm. Mm. I don't know. Okay, for example, if I'm going to play or act in a play or play a role in a show, um, I think I'd rather or I want to be... I want to be a mosquito. <laughs> mosquito? Oh, but I want to be a, maybe a horse. Oh, I want to be a horse. It's, it's too big. Beautiful. I like it. Okay. Okay, tell me. Do you have a pen or pencil? I have. Yes, I do. Okay, so for short answer, we say yes, I do. We don't say I have. Okay, yes, I yes. do. Or, or no, I don't. Do you have? Okay. Do you have a Do you have a pencil? I have, but I know. Just answer. I know, dear. Just answer. It's okay. Just you say yes, I do. Okay. I do. Excellent, very good. So, we are going to listen, okay, to Tony. Tony is drawing a picture of a bat. Listen to the conversation, then answer the questions. First of all, we check the, the questions. What is Tony good at doing? So, good at doing. What is Tony not good at doing or bad at? And what is the missing word in Tony's picture? Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, you say, yes, I am. Okay? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Yes. Great, excellent, my smart girl. Track seven. Hi, Tony. What are you drawing? It's a bat. It's flying around at night catching insects. Bats only fly at night, not in the day. What a great picture. You're very good at drawing, Tony. Thank you. Do you think a bat is a bird or a mammal? It's a mammal. I'm sure it's not a bird. How do you spell mammal? I'm not very good at spelling. M A M M A L. Thank you. Well, number one, what is Tony good at doing? Tony is good at drawing. Excellent. What is Tony not good at doing? Tony not good at mm, spelling. Okay, spelling. So, Tony, let me write here. Tony is not. Is not good 
at. Okay, so we say is not good at. So pay attention. We need to put the verb to be here. Tan it is not good at. Okay. Okay. And what is the missing word in Tony's picture? Is memo. Can you spell it, please? Is m a m m a l. Very good. Good job. Okay, so would you share your camera? Because I can't see you. Ah, thank you. Okay, you're back now. So, are you good at swimming? I'm good at swimming. Okay, and are you good at cooking? I'm not good at cooking. Okay, is your mom good at cooking? My mom good at cooking. Okay, and tell me, what is your dad good at? My dad good at computer. Okay, so my dad is good at is, okay? Okay. Very good, okay. Now tell me about your friend, huh? your best friend. For example, what is your best friend good at doing? My best friend is good at dancing. Mm -hmm. Very good. And what is your friend actually? What did send me something that your friend is not good at? So, what your friend is not good at doing? My friend is not good at swimming. Oh, so you so you can complete each other. You can. For example, teach her how to swim. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Well, we have some words here. Look. Run. Hope. Swim. Okay. And we have another word like dance and write and make. Okay, tell me, when a word ends in E, what should we do if you're going to add ING? I will take E away. You need to, would you say again? Uh, I will take letter E away. Yeah, excellent, excellent, very good. Okay, so dance, as you can see, we need to remove E and we use I instead of E. Write, writing, make, would you write? Making. Would you write? Making, would you write it please? Okay. Thank you. I write in the chat or I write in my notebook. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Do you know any other words that ends in E and we need to change it to ING when we're going to make it drawn? Do you know any other word? Laugh. Laugh. No. Laugh. Yeah. Love, of course, but we normally don't say loving. Loving can't get, the love can't get ing. So we we always say love, not loving, okay? Okay. Yeah, it's not good. Of course, in the future you will learn it, but now, you know, it's not bad to know. We don't make it wrong. Love, love, okay? So, we don't say, I'm loving you. We say, I love you. Okay, and now we have the other verbs, okay? And as you can see, we have a consonant. What is consonant? N, S, P, 
M, their consonant, okay? And of course, B for consonant, we have a vowel. Do you know vowels? A, O, would you say please? O, A, O, U, I, E. Very good. So as you can see, when we add ing to a short vowel word that ends in a consonant, as you can see, run. This is vowel consonant. We need to double consonant running. Hop, hopping, swim. Swimming. OK, very good. Do you know any other word? For example, can you guess? Chat. Chat. Would you write? Okay, so. Did you write? I couldn't see. Did you write it? Let me check. Let me, let me, let me check. Oh, it's love and chat. Excellent. We have chatting. Okay, very good. Excellent. Great job. Okay. Well, let's do it. Okay. Where is my ah, here? Chatting. Excellent. Of course. Of course. Okay, now let me put this here so that we can see the book. Okay, well, now I want you to do something. Okay, let's play a game. Okay, uh, I maybe we can watch a video together. Okay, and you need to spell the name of the animal. Okay, okay, so. Just wait one minute if I can find it. Animals. Okay, so. Okay, this one is, let me check. No. Okay. Can you? Well, are you ready? Let's watch. Okay, great. Let's watch it together. So, share the screen again. Okay. This an animal by its body parts. Let's see. What animal has big ears? Is it a giraffe? No. Is it an elephant? Yes. Or maybe a hippo? What about a kangaroo? Choose your answer. Elephant. It's okay. Elephant. Okay. Would you spell it? E L E P H A N T. Excellent. Very. Good. An elephant. Yes. Well done. What animal has a long neck? Long neck. What animal? Giraffe. Okay, would you spell it? G. G. E. G. G. R. I. R. R. A. A. F. F. I don't know. Okay, so let me say and check it together. G I R A F F 
E, we have double F. Let's check. What about a kangaroo? Could it be a hippo? Is it an elephant? Or maybe a giraffe? Okay, can you see? Giraffe. G-I-R-A-F-F-E. -F -F -E. Okay? Okay. Now, would you spell it again? G-I-R-A-F-F-E. Very good. Excellent. Time to make another guess. Another one. Giraffe. Incredible. What animal has a large furry head? Lion. Lion. Excellent. Okay. Would you spell it? Okay. L-I-O-N. Great. Ed. Good job. What about a tiger? Is it a penguin? Is it a lion? Or maybe a zebra? Make your guess. Lion, of course. Rawr. What animal has a big fluffy tail? Big fluffy tail. Fox. Okay, great. Maybe it's a zebra. Maybe it's a rhino. Is it an elephant? Is it a fox? What's your answer? It's a rhino, right? Of course not. It's a fox. So, what? spell it. Fox. Mm. Yes. Would you spell it, please? F-O-S. Excellent. And what animal has a horn on its face? Mm. No. You don't know? Rhino. Rhino? Okay. Would you spell it? R-H-I-N-O. The animal Check. has a horn on its know. face. Is it a fox? Is it a rhino? Mm -hmm. Or how about a penguin? Or maybe a kangaroo? Make your final guess. A rhino. It's a rhino. Oh, Good Chris. job. You've learned Great a lot job. about different animals okay. today. You could answer our questions perfectly. Very good. So let me... Okay, share the screen again. Yeah, I'm winning. Yeah, of course you won. You won the game. So let me do something for you because you won the game. So you deserve this and this. Okay, you won. Great job. Well, now let's keep going. Okay, so listen and read. We are going to listen and read the story. Whose team are you on? Okay, so look at the pictures. Okay, who are the characters, do you think? The, you know, there are, we have a fox here and this one is, what is this one? Where? Your bird and this one is kangaroo. Of course, and of course, they are? They are birdie. Yeah, of course. And tell me what type of animals are they? So the, so the match is between these kinds of animals and this type. So tell me two types. So bird, like bird and fox and kangaroo are in mammals yeah of course they are mammals and about this types birds birds of course and of course we have a bat here that is mammal it's a little interesting so let's listen and read okay so let me play the audio track eight whose team are you on 
The animals are getting ready for a football match. Fox, kangaroo and bear are on the mammal team. Goose, owl and parrot are on the bird team. Bat wants to play too. <gasps> Can I play? Which team are you on? Um, I want to be on the winning team. The birds are small. The mammals are big. I think the mammals will win. I want to be on the mammal team. Are bats mammals? I don't think so. Bats have wings. Mammals don't have wings. I think bat is a bird. No, I'm not. I'm a mammal. Look at my fur. Look at my teeth. Birds don't have fur or teeth. That's true. I think Bat can play on our team. OK, okay let's, let's play. play. The animals begin to play. Bear passes the ball to Kangaroo. Kangaroo kicks the ball into the goal. The score is Mammals 1, Birds 0. Hooray for our team! Next, Owl gets the ball. Owl passes the ball to Parrot. Parrot scores a goal. Mammals won, birds won. It's a draw. Bear has the ball next, but Parrot takes it. The birds score another goal. Birds two, mammals won. The birds score the next goal too. Now it's birds three, mammals won. <sighs> Let's stop. We need a rest. Oh, the mammal team is losing. I don't want to be on the losing team. I think I'll join the bird team. I'm joining the bird team. Oh, you can't do that, Bat. You're part of the mammal team. <laughs> Not anymore. I want to be on the bird team. Look, I have two wings and two legs. Just like you and Owl and Goose. Play on. The game begins again. Kangaroo has the ball. She passes the ball to Bear. But Bat takes the ball and passes it to Parrot. Parrot scores a goal. It's Birds 4, Mammals 1. Hooray for our team! The birds are winning the game! Stop the game. Whose team are you on, Bat? I'm on the bird team now, and we are winning. You can't switch teams in the middle of a match, Bat. It's not fair. You're not a good team player, Bat. You can't be part of this game. I agree. If you want to play with us, you need to follow the rules. Go, Go away, away, Bat! Bat. We, we don't, don't want, want to play to with you. Uh, I'm sorry. Go away and think about it. When you're ready to follow the rules, you can come back. Uh, OK. Goodbye. And the mammals and the birds begin playing again without bat. Oh, play on. Okay. <laughs> the rules. So let me practice every day. No, let me stop Do it. Okay. Now tell me what happened in the story. <clears throat> the bat want to play. And what what happened? Okay, the bat wanted to play, but what happened? Mm, the bat on the mammal's team, but in the middle of the game, the bats are on the bird's team. Yeah. So first, it decided to be a part of mammal's Mam team. Then it changed its mind and say, no, I want to be the bird, you know, a part of bird's team. Yeah. And what happened then? Everyone said, let's go away. Oh, why? Why 
Why they said go away? Too because bad. Because Matt don't follow the rules. Oh, of course. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, of course, follow the rules. Okay. And tell me, let's check. Okay, I want to know the rules. Okay, if there is no. So the rules, would you, would you read the rules, please? Practice every day. Do your best. Help your team. Be good loser. Say well done to the other team. Be a good winner. Say thank you to the other team. Of course, be a good loser. What does it mean? Do you know? Be a good loser. I don't know. Okay, so let me say, so you can win the game or you can lose the game. So if you can't win, of course, you need to be calm and kind. And you need to say well done to the team that could win, of course. So sometimes when we lose a game, we try to, I don't know, we get angry, we become angry and we say no, and it wasn't fair and I shouldn't actually lose. So it's not good. If you didn't win for any reason, it's okay. You need to be a good person. You need to be calm and you need to say, well done, great job to the other team that could win. Get it? Okay. But why we have to say thank you to the other team? Of course, we say thank you. We say great job. For example, if you win, if you win, we are, for example, we have a match and you are in you know on a team and i am on another team you win and i lose and i say okay i lost the game it's okay so but you won excellent to you and thank you yeah so we need to be a good loser yeah okay okay get it i get it of course of course well okay let me keep this part for the next session just let me do something first of all uh, let me stop recording but before it do you have any questions any issues about this part something that you want to ask me no i don't have yeah you don't of course because you're really smart just don't forget when I ask you, do you have, are you, for example, happy? You don't, first, you don't answer me with a long and complete long sentence, okay? We say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. So we have three words here. No, I don't. No more than three words, okay? For short answer. For example, are you happy? Yes, I am no, I'm not. Okay, so three words, just enough. Get it? Okay, teacher. Okay, so are you happy? I'm very happy. Yes, I, I do. <laughs> yes, I am. Three words. First and is yes I or no. Yes, I am. So tell me. Uh, do you want to go? Do you want to go? Yes. I'm. Am. No. Yes, I do. Excellent. Yes, I do. So, okay, you deserve. You can go. Okay, dear. Have a really good time and see you next session. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye.